Good morning guys, it's Chris, your YouTube daddy here. Well, I'm having a day off today. Uh, I've got to go somewhere. So I thought we'll go for a drive. And I know how people like to guess and work out what streets we're on. So, anybody know where I am to start with and where we're going to? So, there's a church there. Now this is one of these uh, places that they painted these rainbow flags on the floor by the pedestrian crossings. I've just seen that. Who thinks that's a good idea or a bad idea? Personally, I think it's just political correctness gone completely madness. Gone complete madness. Who's paying for that? Unbelievable. Anyway, so we go for a bit of a drive round now. And you'll obviously know where we are to start with. So I haven't got to be at this place for about half an hour. So I thought I'd drive down a few side streets and have a look around some areas I've not been to. Are these areas that you recognise? There's still quite a few bed and breakfast down here. God, the roads are rough around here. This seems to be residential now. So are you keeping up where I am, what the roads are? It's a bit better today because obviously I normally do these drive around at the night time, which is very difficult to locate where you are. Now I'll be honest, these are some streets that I've not been down. I can't go that way because that takes me to a dead end. That shows you that I don't know where I'm going. I say it's 5 to 12, I'm going to be somewhere at half past 12 uh, and I'm only about 10 minutes away from it so we can have a drive down some of the, uh, the streets and see what's going on there's a lot of closed businesses up here So this, as I said, this is an area that I don't uh, frequent very often. I have been here, so many areas, but not for a long time. Uh, well, nothing down there, that's a dead end again. Let's have a look at what's down here. Seems to be a lot of residential houses here. You gotta remember, I'm only one, one or two streets away from the front. So I'm not that far away from the front. But most tourists don't come down areas like this. Well, that's a pretty looking car there. I see that driving around Blackpool quite a lot, actually. Let's see what's down here. It's okay if I get lost, because I know where I've got to go to. I will have to pop this sat nav on if I, if I do get lost. I think we'll turn right here, see what's down here. Seems to be a reasonably nice area down here. There's a few businesses there. There's a professional dog grooming place there. So we're driving inland a little bit now. This court there. 
and it says here park on my right hand side here don't know what park that is anybody know what park that is and I'll turn left here so I'm going in the right direction that I've got to end up at Found here pharmacies, fish and chip shops. I've never seen that fish and chip shop. I might have to try that fish and chip shop one day. So it's definitely quite an affluent area around here. Bit of a giveaway with a big sign there. Yeah, I'm not lost now, I know where we are now. My daughter used to go to school up here many, many years ago. The name of the school's now changed, but so this is where she went to school. So you got all the people who uh, live in Blackpool saying, I live down there, or I went to school there, or... Let's go and have a quick look in here. Let's see what's uh, down here. Just look at the normal housing area. this big building ahead of me. I have no idea what that is. Does anybody know what that actually is? I'm just going to uh, stop off for a second. I'm going to pull the camera out and so we can have a look at that while I'm here. Does anybody know what this is? So I better unplug the iPad because I've got it plugged in. So what is that? What does it do? Does it serve a purpose? What's its function? I've always wondered when I've been in Blackpool, what does that actually do? Was it a water tower or something like that? I'm not 100 percent sure. Well, I'm not sure at all what it is. I've no idea what it is. Is it some sort of pumping station? So does anybody know what it is? It's all gated off, you can't get into it. I just wanted to have a quick look at that. Now we better ca carry on going the way we were going before because I, I do naturally need to be somewhere very shortly. See, I've done a few of these videos driving around and, and uh, people see it, certainly people who don't live in Blackpool like to actually go round and see what the surrounding areas of Blackpool are like, uh, where the normal areas where people live are, the non-touristy areas. So this is definitely a non-touristy area of Blackpool. We are still in Blackpool. going down this hill now. Now I know on the bottom of this road on the left hand side is the test centre or it used to be the driving test centre. I'm not 100% sure if it's still the test centre but uh, I know it's certain but there's a driving instructor going in front of me so it could well be still a test centre. I know Karen, my wife, she uh, did a driving test here many years ago and so did my daughter.
let's go across the road and let's see what's happening across the road. So across on this junction here, there's a big Audi there and a B&M. Last time I came down here, I think that was a B&Q. And there's a Pets at Home. That used to be a massive B&Q there. You see, not very often I come down this direction. We'll just wait for the traffic lights to change and then we'll go straight across the road and see what's across there. I've still got about 10 minutes or so to kill before I have to be somewhere. So I thought, I thought I'm not working today because I've got to be somewhere. So I thought I'll kill two birds with one stone. I might as well come up, I might as well do a video while I'm driving about and do one in the daytime. Because ordinarily, I'm obviously at work at this time. But I've had the day off today. Uh, this will be my last day off before main season. So I thought I might as well do a daytime video of driving around on areas that a lot of people who watch these videos uh, won't be familiar with. Then that uh, person who's taken the driving test has turned that way. There we go. I will go this way. So this appears to be some kind of trading centre down here. Trading area. I mean, I'm sure that where Pets at Home is, that used to be a uh, B&Q there. So there's a, a an auto centre, an Aldi. Is that car sales place? Painted bodywork repairs. So it's some, definitely some kind of trading centre. Let's go in here and have a look. What's, let's have a look around this area, see what's here. Hot tub dock. There's a hot tub dock. So, if you've got a hot tub and it needs a doctor, apparently this is where it is. I didn't even know this industrial unit was here. Oh, there's lots of little small businesses around here. Yeah, lots of, lots of, lots of little small uh, businesses around here. Uh, MOT, garage, motor engineering's, a hot tub dock. I just can't imagine there being that many hot tubs in Blackpool that you need to have a shop dedicated to fixing them. But obviously there must be. So I've never seen that in general. So let's turn right in and see if there's anything else down here. Paint and body shop repairs. Is that a, a car show place? I think this could be a dead end down here. Yeah, this seems to be a dead end, end down here. Let's have a quick drive down here, see what the houses are like around here. I've definitely never been down here before. Yeah, this is a quite a nice area, isn't it? I don't think you'll get any drunken staggered hen parties around here, guys and girls. You can see the big building we looked around there. Just up in the uh, top left hand side. And I shall leave it there, guys. So guys, if you like this quick drive around video, if you want to see more of these, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. If you know the names of the roads, please list down the names of the roads. I've done a few of these videos now and people really like touring it round and working out what roads we are and where are we. So, where did I start and where did I end up? Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. So, and see you later guys. Thanks a lot for watching.